early history, that archaeumens were present in Zambia at least 200,000 years ago was shown by the discovery of the Broken Hill Skull in Kabu in 1921. This was the first human fossil ever discovered in Africa. 1. The earliest known modern humans to live in the territory of modern-day Zambia were the Khoisans. They were bushmen, hunter-gatherers who lived a nomadic life, with Stone Age technology. Mainly they collected fruit and nuts, but they also hunted antelope and other animals. The Khoisans were the only inhabitants of most of Zambia until the 4th century, when Bantutu started to migrate from the north. They had far more developed technology, they were farmers and had iron and copper tools and weapons, as well as knowledge of pottery making. They lived in small self-sufficient villages of wattle and dob huts, growing sorghum and beans, as well as keeping cattle and goats. The Tonga live in southern Zambia along the Zambezi River are the earliest settlers among the modern ethnic groups in Zambia today. The name Tonga is apparently from a word in the Shona language that means independent. Since the early farmers practiced lash and burn agriculture, they had to constantly move further south when the soil was exhausted. The indigenous Khoisans were either killed, assimilated into the new culture or displaced into areas not suitable for agriculture. With the introduction of agriculture the population grew, and more and more land became cultivated. By the 11th and 12th centuries a more advanced society was beginning to emerge. Even though most villages still were self-sufficient, long-distance trade was developing. Copper mining was intensified, and copper crosses were probably used as a currency. Ivory was an export, and cotton textiles an import. One of the best-known archaeological sites for this period is in Ombalid near Saivanga close to the Kariba Dam, uncovered in 1960. The increase in trade resulted in larger political units and more complex social structures.